just as in the previous case that we discussed when the position as a function of time was not a straight line and we had the problem that we had defined velocity in terms of the slope of the straight line uh, similarly here we have defined the concept of acceleration in terms of the slope of the straight line that the velocity is supposed to uh, have with respect to time but this is obviously not the most general case and we can generalize the idea of acceleration for motion that is not uniformly accelerated so if the velocity as a function of time is some curve like this one can talk about the acceleration the average acceleration between two points ta and tb with the velocity at time ta being va and the velocity at time tb being v sub b and the average acceleration between those two points between point a and point b is therefore the slope of the straight line that goes from a to b the slope of that line is the average acceleration between a and b and in the same spirit as before the instantaneous acceleration can also be defined using the idea of average acceleration between a and b that as we said is the slope of that line which is the velocity at b minus the velocity at a divided by the time difference between b and a if this is the average acceleration we can use that average acceleration to find out what's the instantaneous acceleration at some instant of time t what we'll do is we as before we take the limit when a the points a and b located on both sides of the point of interest tend towards the time t so when we take the limit delta t going to zero delta t being of course this this difference between tb and ta so the limit when delta t goes to zero of the average acceleration gives us the instantaneous acceleration at time t another way to write this limit is to say that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity function so for a general plot of velocity versus time to figure out the uh, acceleration, the instantaneous acceleration at any point in time what you have to do is find the tangent line that touches the curve at that one point the slope of that tangent line is the instantaneous acceleration to summarize the velocity at time t of an object and from now on when we say velocity we mean the instantaneous velocity is the derivative with respect to time of the position of the object evaluated at time t graphically this velocity corresponds to the slope of the tangent line at time t in a plot of position versus time the acceleration is defined as the derivative of the velocity with respect to time and it corresponds to the slope of the tangent line at time t in a plot of velocity versus time.